Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to iterate through the rows of data table. For this, I have already created a data table and I have added three columns for this data table. Say first name and its type is string and last name and its type is string and age its type is int. Okay. And I have created a output variable and named it as my data table and its type is data table. So I have added totally two rows for this data table and added this row to the my data table and I have added values for the first name Julie and for the last name Scott and age. Okay, and for the second row, I have added values and age is 20. Okay, now let me add an activity called for each row activity, and the syntax is for each row in this rows we are going to do something in the body so all i need to do here is supply the name of my data table go to build data table activity at output copy the data table name and paste it here And here we get this row by default if you want you can change this to any word I'm going to change this to user because our data table has users in it now I'm going to use log message activity and drop it in the body info and the message the syntax is user dot item make sure that I should be capital now open parenthesis in the double quotes type in first name as exactly we gave in the column name of our data table first name click ok to open expression editor click on these three dots now I'm going to concatenate this first name to the last name so I'm using plus for some space between those names open double quotes now type user again user dot item in parenthesis in double quotes type in last name Now concatenate again. So use plus and for some space use double quotes. User dot item. Third column name is age. User dot item open parenthesis within double quotes. Type in the column name age. If you notice we got this warning what that means we need to use dot to string to convert these generic objects to strings open expression editor and 
at the end of first name type in dot to string add dot to string to at end of every column name let me run this program so i am going to use delay activity to make the outcome wait for some seconds i am going to give duration for 20 seconds so the outcome will wait for 20 seconds let me save and run this now you can see at the outcome there are two rows which are iterated through the rows of a data table thanks for watching please do subscribe to my channel